What's going on, buddy? Uh, today I'm gonna teach you three things every lifter should know. Come with me, man. So first and foremost, if you're not growing, you're dying. Uh, and as cliche as it sounds, this is the truth. I see so many people that come to the gym, they're in the same exercise, the same movement, and what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So why would you do this in the gym? Why would you do the same program, the same week, forever for like a year with the same weights and expect to look any different than you already do? You're just digging yourself a hole and jumping in there. So. Like we said, grow, learn. You're watching these videos, so you're probably someone who is growing. But always say, can I do better? Can I question what I know? Is what I'm doing the best thing I could do? Read different resources and challenge yourself. Don't grow complacent. Don't think, hey, my way is the only way. This is the smartest way. You can always be better, even myself. I'm always learning, trying to develop, and become better and more knowledge in my craft. And number two, you've got to leave your ego at the door. I can't stress how important this is because I'm paying for it. I'm going to be completely honest with you. About five years ago, I messed up my shoulder doing weight that I couldn't handle to show off to other people in the gym. And here I am making rehab videos for all of you guys to see, spending hours and hours and hours trying to get my shoulder back to normal. And I think 50 plus percent of people in the gym are going to get injured if they haven't already gotten injured. So before you pay for it, spend the time right now to really think before going into the gym, can I properly handle this weight with solid form and you will not regret it. Number three quick tip is all about being sustainable. You don't want to do short-term uh, solutions or look for short-term solutions because you're not going to get any long-term success. Fitness should all be about long-term success. You know, if you're cutting out carbs and doing crazy radical measures, you know, like going to the gym in the middle of the night and only getting two hours of sleep, you're not going to be able to have long-term success. You know, we're in this to be healthy and everything we do, we want to be um, something you can replicate and continue going forward. So, you know, be realistic with your training, be realistic with your new nutrition and be realistic with your social patterns to where you actually will succeed. A good example is people that cut out every bad food and they look at it like it's the worst thing in the world. Um, this isn't sustainable because the second they put one bad thing in their mouth, they want to go overboard and they just want to go crazy. So instead, look for that realistic solution, something like the 80-20 rule where you're primarily eating clean but you can still indulge in 20% fun foods. If you're really beat up, take a rest. You don't need to be going every day. You know, Look to be sustainable and that's how you succeed. Obviously, we all wish we could do the crazy thing and be superhuman, but we are only human. Be sustainable, succeed. Hopefully you enjoyed these three tips. We'd love to hear one of your tips down below. Just pop that in the comment section. Uh, we enjoy these fun little videos. Hopefully this gives you a surge of motivation to get fired up and get at it. Peace.